Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim welcomed Singapore's president to the Gulf state. Iran and the European Union hold crucial talks in Doha. Youngsters make a splash at Katara Beach's diving contest. And finally, here's how Qatar is involved in a Detroit park named after the greatest boxer of all time. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar and Singapore held constructive talks in Doha to develop bilateral relations, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani said in a tweet on Wednesday. The meeting was held between Sheikh Tamim and the Singaporean President Halima Yaqub, who was in Doha for her last trip as head of state. President Yaqub and Amir Tamim also witnessed the signing of a number of memoranda of understanding in Doha that covered various sectors, including food security, energy, and cyber security. Now, on to more talks in Doha. Iran's lead nuclear negotiator Ali Baghiri Khani and the European Union's Deputy Foreign Policy Chief. Enrique Mora had a serious and constructive meeting in the Qatari capital. The talks were held amidst an ongoing stalemate in efforts to revive the 2015 nuclear deal, which the U.S. abandoned under the previous Trump administration. It is unclear if a Qatari representative was present at the meeting. However, Qatar has ramped up its unofficial role as a mediator between Iran and Washington by hosting a round of negotiations in Doha in June last year. Qatar Beach kicked off a week of exciting challenges for youngsters with the start of El Mina Pearl Diving Contest. 168 young competitors from the ages of 10 to 15 have stepped up to take part in the week-long maritime adventure. The young thrill-seekers will compete in three different categories of diving, hadap, and fishing. And finally, a newly renovated park in Detroit, Michigan has been renamed in honor of the greatest boxer of all time. The revamp of Muhammad Ali Park was supported by Qatar, which provided a generous contribution according to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Qatar's ambassador to Washington, Mishael Hamad Al Thani, joined local officials and community members to inaugurate the park on Wednesday. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.